Tyres are the most important thing on a trailer and it is a good practice to maintain them regular. It's very similar to a car and most of the rules are similar to a car. The first most important thing that people don't look at too often is the tread depth. This is extremely easy to measure. We have a simple device bought from a local car spares shop and it has a prong that you stick between the tread and it gives you a digital readout of the tread depth. And it's good practice to measure all three grooves or more if there are more that gives you the depths over the width of the tire. And it's also good practice to rotate the wheel and repeat a couple more times as you can get areas that have skidded and worn funny. Always take the lowest measurement that you get. The next most important thing, especially on a trailer, again using the same tool, is the tyre pressure. A tyre pressure is always marked on the side of the tyre. It will usually say the maximum load of the tyre at a pressure. It is good practice to have the pressure of the tyre within 5 psi. This is a high capacity tyre with a maximum pressure of 95 psi and is currently at 94.5 psi. It's good practice to have it within 5 psi. The next is you check the outsides of the tyre for damage, for chunks taken out the sidewall and cords showing etc. The next thing, when a tyre ages the rubber goes off. As the rubber goes off you get what's called perishing and you get cracks between the grooves or down the sidewall. If you check for those, if any of them are starting to crack they can cause blowouts and fail on you. And the final thing that is good practice to check is the date of the tyre. This is a four digit number that's marked on the side of the tyre and it is on this tyre it is 4118. That means the tyre was manufactured in week 41 of 2018. It is not advisable to run tyres when they exceed five years old as the rubber begins to break down and can cause failure. If you require any more help with maintaining your tyres or purchasing new tyres, please feel free to call us.